Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. Today, I got my daughter with me. We're going to the meat store. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed and join us on our errands today. Say hi to the people. Hi. <laughs> I'm at the meat store. We are going inside of Village Meat and Market. This is in my old neighborhood where I stayed. This was a meat store I used to come to to do my meat shopping. So I decided to come back over here today because they have some really good deals. Let's go inside, let's see what they got. Let's see what we're gonna buy. I know I wanna spend a lot because I wanna go ahead and get my freezer stocked up so I don't gotta um, be buying meat from like Walmart and when they see in Publix and stuff like that. Get it here for much cheaper. And get more for your money, right? <laughs> she don't know. But anyways, let's go inside and get this little shopping done. You ready? Yeah. There I go. So we are now in the meat market. We just looking around at their fresh produce you know what we haven't had in a while brown stew chicken you said plum yeah brown stew chicken so i'm gonna get some zucchini but um, how, many I'm gonna, how many of you gonna eat i don't know i'm gonna get some asian so we're gonna do a little bit of shopping okay she done grabbed some plum i think you have to weigh them over there well, you don't actually have to weigh them. They're gonna weigh them. Um, when they check them out? Yeah, kiwis are dollar forty nine a pound. I like the ones from Sam's Club though. Yeah, those. Are good. How much are they? Great. where I like to come and get my meat. They do have plans already like in the bulk and it tells you everything that you'll get and how much you'll pay. Like this plan is $169.99, $170. And this is all that you'll get with that plan. But I don't buy those plans because some of those meats I do not eat. Like leg quarters, I do not like to buy leg quarters because I don't want to have to cut the meat up or anything. Only time I will buy it like if we're going to like cook out or something and that's something good to go on the, throw on the grill. But I don't do that. I'll come and do this. Look. They have five pounds of whole chicken wings for $10. How you doing? Okay. 10 pounds of whole chicken wings. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna get, when I order my meat, I get like 10 pounds of everything that I get. And then I'll still buy like what I couldn't get back here. I will go find it in the packs back there. So I'm gonna visit that area back there once I get everything that I need from over here. So I'm gonna get 10 pounds of whole chicken wings. That's probably four meals for us because I'll five pounds for ten dollars. So there's twenty dollars for ten pounds. Cause I'll bag them up like how I'm gonna cook them. I'll put like the six of us, I'll put like eight pieces in a bag. Everybody don't want to take a piece of meat. Sometimes some people do, sometimes they won't. So I'll bag the meat like by six or seven in the ziplock bag, label them and throw them in the freezer. Stinks. I think. Oh, it's oh, I thought she called me stink. Yeah, it's a meat store, so that smell of meat is definitely in here. It's not that bad, though. Not like if you go on the fish market. You ain't been in one of them, have you? <laughs> no. Oh, those will stink. <laughs> okay. I have five pounds of turkey wings. You do $4.99 a pound. Can I have eight pounds? Yes. Oh. The pork chops, we got some chicken. No, this is only, only did five pounds of turkey wings because we don't eat those that much. So only did four. I'm gonna get some oxtails. The prices are going down on fresh oxtails. For four pounds, it's $18.99. Hey. I remember at one point I paid for five pounds of oxtails. It was like 30 something dollars. So the prices are going down. I am gonna take advantage and get some oxtails today. Maybe we can have that tomorrow for dinner. No. Can I have four pounds of the oxtail? Yes. Okay, so now Make I have like the... Kind of like What's this? Stuff. Pork chop? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now I'm getting 10 pounds of ground beef. Their price is cheaper normally. I get a little bit. 
normally I get the 10 pound thing of ground beef from Walmart for $30 and some change. Let's see how much 10 pounds comes up to in here. So, in here for the 10 pounds of ground beef, it comes to 10.11. Uh, 10.11, perfect. That'll be three meals for us. Because the 10 pound thing at Walmart is $30. Yesterday. Thank you. So, for 10 pounds of ground beef in here, it's twenty-five dollars and twenty cents. So it's a little bit cheaper than when you get it at Walmart. So that's why I like to come here because you can save some money when you buy your meat. So here is their freezer section. I want to find some waffle fries. I might not. You know what? Instead of looking in the freezer section, no, I don't want that brand. Let's go over here. Let's go look in this cooler thing. Hmm? I don't know what she's looking at, but I'm trying to find some meat. She's playing. Let's see what they got in here. They got some smoked turkey tails. Some neck bones. Oh, will I find some over here? Let's see. They got some. Are these hash browns? I want to buy some hash browns. I like to buy my meat this way because you're really saving some money, and then I can get as much as I need, you know, by the pound. Let's get some chicken thighs. I only have five pieces. I need a one with six pieces. I'm gonna get. So I am gonna go ahead and get this pack of chicken thighs right here. All right, let me see what else I wanna get from here. Uh, okay. Can you see how for the chicken wings, if you buy it this way, it's two fifty one a pound. So for it's four dollars a pound. I'm sorry. So this is two and a half pounds for ten dollars, and I just bought. Uh, four pounds, five pounds back there for $10. That's why I get it at the back, the meat counter. I didn't get any drumsticks, so I'm gonna get some drums from here. Hold on, baby. I don't like big drums like this. I do not like to buy chicken that's this big. This is just entirely too big. I'm not gonna get this. What'd you say, baby? I feel like you made these before and I expect you just to eat it. I did not make that, but Nana does make chicken feet. Have y'all seen these before? Chicken feet, my mama makes these and pig feet too. I actually like those. I don't like the pig feet, but I eat those. They just don't have much on them because they're so skinny. Yeah. Nana made those ones, before for y'all? Yeah. Okay. Ones, okay, we got some beef too. I can get this and use this in the crock pot with some potatoes and carrots. So, two pounds. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one for Nine fifty-five. Cause I can make a roast with this. A little pot of roast. Twenty-eight degrees for this, so I'm gonna get this as well. I feel like this is a little expensive. This is a pound for eight dollars, but um, I'm gonna get this because I can make some peppers, some sandwiches one day with this. So I'm gonna get these too. I was looking for New York strip steaks, but I don't see any. So instead, I'm gonna get. Fresh beef chuck shoulder steaks. Um, they're a little thinner than what I usually get, but that's fine. I'm gonna get two of these. So we're gonna head to check out now. We got everything that we need. And I'm gonna show y'all what all we got when we get to the house. I almost forget to get drumsticks. So I had to come back because I almost forgot. So you buy five or more pounds, they're 78 cents a pound. So for 10 pounds, it's gonna be seven dollars 80 cents. The regular price is nine, 97 cents. So I circle back around to come back over here again. She better eat it. She got some Dippin' Dots ice cream and her little candies from the meat store. Let me see. This little three pack of candies. It's just like um, Pixie sticks, that powder, the candy powder, in these little fruit shaped containers. She better eat her Dippin' Dots ice cream. So we done. We gonna go home. I am home from the meat store. We made it back in. Let me go ahead and do a little walkthrough and show y'all what I got. 
and what the total was from our meat haul. This should last us for a month. I cook five days a week, uh, Sunday through Thursday. Saturday and Sunday, I don't cook. I will either do fast food or takeout or something, or they can just eat whatever they can find in the fridge, freezer. They just pick what, like a basically like an oven or whatever they want to eat at the house. Okay, so I have four pounds of oxtails for $18.99. Right here, I got some skinless chicken thighs for $4.95. I got some beef chuck shoulder steaks. I bought two packs. Um, this was $6.50 and this one was $5.73. I have a roast here for $20.83. I got some beef pepper steaks. I bought two of these. This one was nine eleven, eight sixty three. Both of them are just over a pound. That's a lot. I already said that in the store. But with this, what I want to do is dice up some bell peppers and some onions, and we're gonna have some like a cheese steak thingy going on with this with some fries. So that's what I plan on doing with this meat right here. Now some beef stew, two point two eight pounds for nine fifty five. This is gonna be beef stew. This is what it's gonna be. I'm gonna throw it in a crock pot, let it cook on low all day with some potatoes and some carrots. And oh, baby, this is gonna be good. All right, coming around here ground beef, 10.12 pounds for $25.20. Now, if y'all watch my other shopping video, I'll put a link in the description. I get the 10 pound roll of ground beef from Walmart for $30 and some change. I saved $5 here. So I definitely, I need to start back going to the meat. So I used to, but it's just convenient to do get it with my pickup order and I have to make an extra stop. But I'm going to save that little bit of money that I be that I can save by going back to this meat market. Here, this is five pounds of turkey wings for $7.99. This is 10 pounds, 10.35 pounds of chicken wings. Nope, nope, sorry y'all. Drumsticks, then they got these big ones that I hate. I hate this big ass. Look at this. I hate when the chicken be dead like this because ain't no way this is natural. But, anyways, 10 pounds for eight dollars. They were 78 cents a pound if you buy more than five pounds. That's what that was. Now, the whole wings 10 pounds of chicken wings for two twenty dollars right there. Pork chops, I think I did 10 pounds of these. Yes, I did. I don't remember what it was, but I paid ten dollars for this big old bag of pork chops. I can't remember what the deal was on it. Now I decided to get some zucchini for when I made some brown stew chicken with them chicken thighs over there, and I got some baby carrots in the fridge already. So this is what I got the zucchini for. My daughter got in there and wanted some plums, so she picked some plums and put them in the bag. These are the ones she chose. These kind of look, but we're gonna clean these and they're gonna eat these plums right on up. I did grab a bag of grapes that look kind of ashy. <laughs> Clean them up, stick them right in the fridge too. So this meat will last us for the month. The total was not only for that, I did grab me a drink, a soda. Right here, just a Pepsi shot. I know I ain't supposed to be drinking this soda, but I cheat and get soda every now and then. She got some Dippin' Dots ice cream, some of the ice cream they sell in there, and then she got the little candies. Um, and for everything that we got today, all of our meats and our little bit of produce. The total was $169.14. I don't think that's bad at all because this meat is gonna last us, and this will be good for the month. I know with 10 pounds, it's three meals right here. Uh, turkey wings, I'm gonna make all of them at one time. So that's one meal. Same with the beef stew. This is one meal. It's gonna last us for the month though. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, get this meat separated bag labeled and put it in the freezer because y'all seen that video y'all know my freezer is empty <laughs> anyways guys thanks so much for watching i really 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 and truly appreciate it i will see you guys in the next video she happy now oh because we stopped at dollar general i forgot dollar tree dollar tree, dollar tree. <laughs> and bought some toys that was an unplanned stop and they picked up some of these she had one of these before but he Oh, don't hide. Don't be trying to run out. Oh. <laughs>
he bust her little ball thing. And she's been asking me to go back over there and get it. But we moved. We don't live in that area no more. But I was just happy to be over there to go to the bank in a car wash today. So I stopped and grabbed her one. I got him his own. We bought five of these total today from Dollar Tree. Everybody got one. They're all different colors. These little balls, you squeeze them. They got these little things in it. Orbeez, that's what they call them. And then she got how many of these? Five, four, five. Then she got some of these that she's squeezing on right now. Does that go? Yeah, so that's what this is. She bought some of those. And then I bought this little cupcake thing. You, she got a lollipop candy. She's going to get her some candy. She's going to make sure she grabs some candy no matter what she at. And this little fidget toy at Dollar Tree. And then I grabbed this little wine glass, y'all. I gotta get me a bottle of wine to go with it now because what good is a wine glass without a wine, without some wine? But it says good day, which is the bottom line. The middle line says bad day and the top one says don't ask. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. But what I really was happy to find was these little baskets. I bought three more of these for the pantry, for my pantry organization. So that's what we did today. Um, but we had a good day out together. We went Got our errands ran, got our meat, so I'm super happy about the meat. So anyways, guys, let me stop talking y'all heads off because I will do it. I will talk and talk and talk. Thanks so much for watching the video. I really and truly appreciate it. I appreciate it a whole lot. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave your lady a, a like on the way out. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I do a whole lot of grocery hauls because I do a lot of grocery shopping. I do a lot of, I do cooking, I do things with the kids and stuff like that. If you like that kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe, okay? And I will see y'all in the very next video. Bye for now.